Coming up on Warm Biz, the fight to save the Selfridge National Air Guard Base and the jobs of U.S. troops is underway. Details on how you can help are straight ahead in this Warm Biz Top Story. The city job fair was a huge success, but it doesn't have to end there for job seekers. Warm Biz has the inside scoop on a couple of companies that will have Help Wanted signs on display. And Warren always rolls out the red carpet for businesses, so Warren Biz has the latest on the most recent businesses to join the city. And to keep you at the top of your game, an update on upcoming business training seminars. And social media experts from SoBuzzMe.com are in the studio. All this and more, so don't move. Warren Biz starts now. Hi everybody, I'm Wanda Kaufman and welcome to Warm Biz, the show that keeps you in the loop on Warren's economic boom. Listen closely and maybe you can get a piece of the action. Let's get right to it. The president's proposed budget for the fiscal year 2013 could eliminate one third of the Michigan National Guard, cutting about 35% of the jobs on the Selfridge Air National Guard base. Warren Biz took a tour of the base and talked to a couple of insiders about the future of Selfridge. If we lose the A-10s from Selfridge, we'll lose between six and 700 positions, of which about 200 are full-time positions, two, 250, and about 450 are part-time positions, our traditional guardsmen, our citizen, citizen, uh, citizen soldier airmen. We think that we have a pretty good case here of why we should be uh, maintained or uh, given a new mission, but once the decision comes, we'll salute and we will carry on and we'll do the mission of the people. If you would like to voice your concerns about the cuts at Selfridge Air National Guard, contact Senator Carl Levin through his website at levin.senate.gov. And the City of Warren and Macomb Community College job fair turned out to be a job seeker's dreamland. Thousands of job seekers came out to the Career Services job fair for the rare opportunity to have hundreds of employers in one room. Job seekers waited in long lines to chat with potential employers about full-time and part-time positions. But the good news for job seekers, it doesn't have to end there. At the job fair, Huntington National Bank joins Myers for a job creating collaboration. Huntington Bank announces plans to open 80 branches inside Myers stores across Michigan. Most are expected to have extended hours and stay open seven days a week. Reports say 22 branches will open this year. And the, this merger will bring about 500 jobs to the state as all the branches open over the next five years. And Michigan Schools and Government Credit Union celebrates the official grand opening of the Warren branch. Warren Biz reporter Kristen Sklatt has more. The community of Warren is, is very similar to, uh, to what we're all about, which is people helping people. With nine other locations around Metro Detroit, MSGCU is teaming up with neighboring schools to provide unique opportunities for teachers and students to grow, learn, and succeed. We have several programs to give cash back to schools and students alike. For example, we have a classroom cash grant program where we've given out over $40,000 in the past year to teachers that might need a, a supplemental learning aid in their classrooms. They can apply for a cash grant uh, and they'll put their application online, encourage their students, parents, and others in the community to vote for that grant. And as those grants are awarded, uh, they receive the cash and they're able to buy things for their classroom that maybe they otherwise couldn't purchase. We had a, a vision years ago that we wanted to grow, to expand. We were a very good credit union, but we weren't really expanding. With the leadership of our executive team, our great employees, and a great membership base, we've been able to expand amazingly. With students from the Career Prep Center passing out hors d'oeuvres and the Sterling Heights High Sax Quartet playing, school pride was in the air already at the credit union's grand opening. It's a great opportunity for the kids to be involved and uh, the community activity, and most important, supporting the credit union and uh, opening such a fabulous facility. In addition to the grant program, we also give out several scholarships. We give out scholarships to uh, 12 students throughout the area. In addition, we give each school district $1,000 to grant to a student uh, that, that may be in need uh, in order for them to attend college as well. They are a top shelf credit union, and I look forward to working with them. Stop in any time to the new 14 Mile and Shaner Credit Union to see all of the excitement of the new facility. For Warren Biz, I'm Kristen Sklad.
Looks like they have a lot of fun there. They've got drinks and hors d'oeuvres. So you can log on to the msgcu.org to see if you're eligible for membership at the new credit union. If you're ready to expand your business, you don't want to miss the Macomb Business Forum. County Executive Mark Hackle will conduct the two-hour forum on May 24th, starting at 7.30 in the evening. And it's all about growing your business in Macomb's new blue economy. Although the session is full, you can still join in the live stream on Macomb Daily's website. Simply visit macombdaily.com and to participate in the forum, you can submit questions during the live stream and you'll get responses right there as it's happening. So up next on Warren Biz, the latest with the big three automakers, Consumers Corner and much more. indoor water park at the Warren Community Center. Take your party inside with a play structure, slides, and amenities for the entire family to enjoy. Rain or shine seven days a week. Just $5 for residents of the city of Warren and $10 for non-Warren residents. Look for two for one coupons on the city of Warren's website. Visit us at the Warren Community Center indoor water park today. Globalwarming.com while there's still time. Look for the bare necessities. The bare necessities of healthy living are easier than you think. You better believe it. All it takes is the right balance of being active and eating well. And the food pyramid shows you the way. Just remember, every color, every day. With just the bare necessities of life. Crazy. So eat right and be active. Now move. That's it. And have lots of fun. <laughs> For your own path to a healthier you, visit mypyramid.gov. The latest on the big three. Demand is high, so Chrysler employees will stay on the line. Let's take a look. April was another strong month for Chrysler with the Chrysler 200 midsize sedan, Fiat 500, Dodge Challenger muscle car, and Jeep Wrangler all setting new sales records for the month. And the Dodge Avenger, which posted a 47% sales gain, set an all-time sales record. Chrysler Group LLC reported U.S. sales of 141,165 units, a 20% increase compared with sales in April 2011, and the group's best sales in the month of April since 2008. Chrysler Group recorded its 25th consecutive month of year-over-year -year sales gains and its 11th straight month of sales increases of at least 20%. In order to meet demand on some of the company's most popular products, Several Chrysler Group LLC facilities will not observe a two-week summer shutdown. These plants include the Jefferson North Assembly Plant, Belvedere Assembly, Toluca Assembly, and Toledo Supplier Park. That was Betty Newman reporting. And not only working through shutdown, the Belvedere plant expects to hire an additional 1,800 workers. And Ford seems to be following the same trend. In order to boost production by 40,000 vehicles, Ford will only shut down for one week this summer instead of the normal two-week shutdown. Overall, Ford expects to increase production from 2.6 million this March to 3 million by October. In May, it's Commuter Challenge Month. Gas prices are down a bit, but still high. Simcog encourages all commuters to find a cheaper alternative to commute to work. You can join the challenge at simcog.org forward slash commuter challenge. Log in to track your progress. And experts say people who attend home ownership counseling before actually purchasing their first home are more likely to make timely payments. The MSU Extension Center will hold a free six-hour class 
on May 19th from 9 to 4. The class will focus on financing, selecting an agent, home inspections, and other important details, including the closing process. The class is free and open to the public. For more information, call 586-469-7614. And everything you always wanted to know about military contracting but were afraid to ask can be presented to you in an upcoming class with that title, Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Military Contracting. The program is on May 30th at 8 a.m. The experts will discuss the ins and outs of government contracting, like how to bid on contracts and helping manufacturers apply for government contracts. The seminar will take place in the Macomb Intermediate School District in room 100. For more information, call 586-731-5400. And the Macomb Incubator will also sponsor a variety of classes during the month of May and June, including an overview and introduction on how to apply for small business innovation research and small business technology transfer funds. These are two federal programs that provide research funding to small businesses. The class is four hours on May 21st at 9 in the morning. And for more information, contact Macomb Incubator at 586-884-9320 or visit the link on your screen to register. And after all these classes give good information and maybe they could put you in the same league as General Dynamics. Recently, General Dynamics was awarded a $26 million contract by the U.S. Army Contracting Command. With this contract, General Dynamics takes on the task of building two assault vehicle prototypes. General Dynamics says the project should be complete by 2014. And the incubator has classes on more than contracting and funding. They also hold classes on expanding your business with social media. Up next on Warm Biz, we have social media experts from SoBuzzMe.com in the studio. Stay tuned. The Fitness Center at the Warren Community Center. Join us for brand new equipment for a new you. Cardio, machines, free weights. We have your total body workout covered. An amazing workout for an equally great price. And included in your membership, you get to enjoy all the amenities the Community Center has to offer. It's the Fitness Center at the Warren Community Center. Hello, I'm Warren Mayor Jim Fouts. Warren is a business-friendly city. We are home to the GM Tax Center. We offer all businesses a low city tax rate, safe and clean neighborhoods, and a skilled workforce second to none. If you are looking for an ideal place to locate your business, you won't find a better place than Warren, Michigan. If you come to Warren, I will personally welcome you. If you can find a better city to locate, move there. But believe me, I'm certain you won't. Welcome back to Warm Biz. I'm Wanta Kaufman. Are you ready to expand your business to the next level, reach a broader demographic, and gain unlimited exposure? Well, I have the team from Social Buzz Media, better known as SoBuzzMe.com. They have the inside track on website development, digital marketing, social media integration, cloud, and IT services. And if all that sounds foreign to you, don't worry. The team is right here to break it all down for you. And now we have So Buzz Me right here in TV Warren Studios. Can you please start and introduce yourselves? Yes, I'm Aaron McCarthy, co-founder and president. I'm Rochelle Boudry, also co-founder. Uh, Dan Fuoco, the vice president. Okay, thank you all for being here. And just begin by telling us a little bit about your company. Yes, we're a technology consulting firm that focuses on three main areas of information technology. Number one being digital marketing, number two being IT support, and number three, cloud solutions. Tell me why we focus on helping small businesses connect to business resources that are in the area, region, all across the country. 
why would small businesses need to call So Buzz Me and talk to, talk to you about what you offer? Sure, because So Buzz Me is here to help everybody out. Uh, they off, we offer solutions that will help you uh, capitalize on technology uh, to get a better ROI on your capital investment in technology. We have the solutions that will help you uh, gain more from technology, and we've been in the business for quite, a, quite some time, uh, me personally, uh, over 14 years in technology. Okay, let's talk to the, the small business who doesn't know much about social media, not much at all about social media, and kind of explain to them in layman's terms why they would need to contact you and how you could help them. Sure. Social media is growing, as you know. It has a, uh, a great outreach to many people. Um, social media can help them leverage their business uh, better on the internet, drive more traffic to their website, and in the end, uh, sell more of their products and or, and or services. Mm -hmm. You specialize in search engine optimization when you work on uh, developing a website or marketing a website? Correct, yes. We, when we build our websites, we start from scratch with social media and with uh, search engine optimization uh, built in at the base. Tell people what that means, optimization, so that when somebody is looking for a service they provide, what does that mean if you have provided search engine optimization? Sure, yeah, search, search engine optimization would be when, uh, when somebody searches on your name in Google and they search for perhaps a service that you offer that your name will come up at the top of the list or at least on the first page of the Google search results. So without search engine optimization, you have a nice website but nobody's going there. So we can help them uh, reach you and find you more easily and more effectively. Okay, that seems like that's a really big deal. And you are mostly involved with the consulting? Yes, I help a lot. I, my background is mostly in social media, so I have experience uh, in also in public relations from past courses and then also personal use. Mm -hmm. So what are some tips or things you would tell a small business about making sure that they have a great website and marketing themselves online. Well, that is a, exactly a perfect point of how we come in. Not only can we help them build the perfect website, but get the reach to have followers go to the website, and that's where social media comes in. And we are well-versed in multiple social media platforms, and we can train them and, and kind of coach them along so that they can take this on even after they utilize our services. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a brother-sister team, but then we also have the vice president here. Tell us how you came to be involved and um, what's the, the, the big, the most important thing that you think that people need to take away from marketing themselves online? Well, I, I came in, um, Rochelle and Aaron uh, thought I'd be a good fit with the, the social media and the marketing background that I have, along with uh, the public relations. Um, you know, I, I do a lot of research and, and, and trying to find uh, what's the next big trend and always staying ahead of the curve. So they thought having me on board, having that, that forward think would be a, a good idea for the company. So, so you guys have a strong history, a solid foundation behind you. you. It's not like, well, you thought this was just a great idea, so you tried it. You have research and numbers behind what you do and how you execute your plan. Correct, and we saw a big need for small businesses to utilize social media to get their message mm -hmm. out. So that's why Rashawn and I originally formed this company. Yeah, and when we did, we actually did a lot of research about potential competition through the area, and we really didn't see any any companies that were doing this at the time and saw a huge need for social or for small businesses in the local area. Mm -hmm. So if a small business wants to expand, a website would be a great way to do it, and not just creating a website, but having it developed so that people can find it. Right. And that's what you do, the digital marketing and IT solutions, correct? Yes, IT support. So if you have a network, you use a computer, which is most people, most small businesses, we can come in and we can help you manage your network. If you would like a wireless network with guest access, anything to do with your overall IT day-to-day -day operations, we are here to help you out. Sounds like a resource that people really should um, be giving you guys a phone call. So before we close here, give us one last, um, one last bit on why a small business should give you guys a call and tap into the services you provide. Who's going to go for it? Well, I'm going to tell you that we're going we're gonna to be different from everyone else because we're going to help your business become more efficient than it is. We're going to help you to create the strategy that you want to create as far as marketing and, and getting the awareness of your business 
out into the general public. So people know about you. That's where the search engine optimization comes in. People know what's happening, what you do, and how you're going to help others. Okay. So it'll expand your business. That's a great point, Dan. Also, we're going to listen to your needs. We're going to create a solution that fits your needs, whether it be website, whether it be social media, IT support, or the big buzzword cloud computing. So we can help you out with uh, cloud computing and leverage that for your business. Let's talk about the cloud again. Talk, talk about what you offer with the cloud. I don't want to close without talking about that. The cloud is a big buzzword, as you may know. We've heard a lot about it lately. One of the biggest services that the cloud offers right now is from Google. It's a product called Google Apps for Business. What it is, it's calendar, contacts, and email all through your domain, so at sobuzzme.com or whatever your domain may be, uh, all available 24-7, 365. No hardware resides in your office. It's all on Google servers. You're leveraging their data centers across the world, so you have virtually no downtime. Also, it synchronizes across all of your devices, your computer, any web browser you go to, your phone, whether it be iPhone, Android, Blackberry, also your tablet computer. Any tablet computer, it, it, you send an email from the tablet computer or from your phone, it also comes up in the web browser as being sent. So very powerful, uh, all integrated, and as well allows you to share and communicate between all users in your organization. So it streamlines all your resources and all your tools. Correct. Basically. Correct. Mm -hmm. The one spot, no server to manage is the big thing. So you don't have to worry about maintenance, support, computers going down. You're utilizing Google's uh, servers for that. So. Wow, that's a that's a, a mouthful. <laughs> that's a that's a lot, especially for people who don't really understand right. all of the IT talk. Right. Yeah. And the big thing is this will save you money. It's fifty dollars a user a year for the service. You cannot equate that to what it would cost to actually have a server sit in your office and maintain that. The cost is not even close. So we can help you utilize this solution so that your business will save and will get a great ROI on their investment. Great. Great. Well, and then for your other services, your prices are pretty reasonable, you Yes, say? that's important. That's important because we know small businesses don't have a lot of capital. They don't have generally an IT person on staff, or they need to supplement the IP, IT person they have on staff. So that's where we can come in and help out. And we're definitely very receptive to small businesses' uh, needs. That's what it sounds like. And so for small businesses out, out there, you definitely can find So Buzz Me, their information, at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash warmbiz. And thank you all for being here. Thank and you. we will definitely post your contact information on our site and here for everybody to, to, to see. Thank, thank you, you for Wanta. having us. So thank you for being here. Thank you. That's good information for any small business looking to expand. So for more information, visit their website at sellbuzzme.com or give them a call at 248-274-4710. And straight ahead on Warren Biz, a recap of the headlines. Liberty Family Outreach was uh, formed about eight years ago as a response to a need we saw in the community. We meet tangible needs that, that people have, such as groceries, school supplies, haircuts, physicals items like that and uh, we come in and, and meet those needs and in meeting those needs we're bringing hope to a hurting community. For more information on this charity and other charities log on to our website at cityofwarren.org. Tick, 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 massive heat waves, heat waves, tick, severe droughts, tick, 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 Devastating, tick, devastating tick, hurricanes. Tick, 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 tick. Our future tick, tick, is up tick, tick, to you. Tick. Go to fightglobalwarming.com while there's still time. And now for your warm biz recap. The Selfridge National Air Guard base is in danger of losing 35% of jobs on their base and putting more than 500 troops out of work. Contact Con Senator Carl Levin to voice your concerns at levin.senate.gov. And the city job fair was a huge success. Thousands of job seekers were treated to a rare opportunity to have hundreds of job employers in one room, ready to hire at the Career Services Job Fair. 
and another Warren grand opening. The MSGCU Credit Union celebrates the grand opening of the Warren branch. The Credit Union has a special partnership with local school districts. So visit their website to see if you are eligible for membership. And thanks for watching Warren Biz, the show that keeps you in the loop on Warren's economic boom. If you have any questions, comments, or story ideas, please contact our newsroom at 586-258-2053. You can also email me at warrenbiz1 at gmail.com. And also, please visit our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash warrenbiz. See you next time on Warren Biz.